Okay, so say you've got a little character and it's controlled by a rigid body. Now, you can get in certain situations where the velocity gets so out of control that the physics system just doesn't know what to do and it'll break. So you can see here, if I come down here and hit this bouncy thing, I go really fast, I, it freaks out and then I stop and I, can na I now can't move. So in situations like this, what you can do is you can limit the velocity of rigid bodies to make sure that they don't go faster than they need to. So I'm going to come over into my code here, and this is where I'm moving my character, just adding force to a rigid body. And if I get this bit of code here, I can say if rigidbody.velocity.magnitude is greater than the maximum speed, then let's clamp the magnitude to our max speed. So what I can do is I can do a debug.log, and let's just log out the velocity dot magnitude. And max speed here is a float, a serialized float all the way up here. So I've got private float max speed. That's currently set to 200 in the inspector. So let's just see how that works. So if I go over to our player, and we've got our max speed variable here. Let's set this to something ridiculous like 10. If I then hit play and then let's go over to our speed. So you can see here that it's kind of clamping it at that 10. It'll go over a little bit, mm -hmm. but not by a crazy amount. It'll stay, you know, around that 10. And if I now hit our bounce pad, it's not going to go more than it can go. So if I now go back over to our player and I increase our uh, max speed, so say to 1000, mm -hmm. you see that now we can go um, above that and just in normal movement we're not getting anywhere near that so our normal kind of speed when we're not bouncing off anything we're getting to about 60 70 if i go back over to the bounce pad here and if i boost down into the bounce pad we get into that situation but you can see it's not it's not breaking now it's still clamping it to a thousand and i can slowly reduce this and clamp it more so we can bring this all the way down to you know something reasonable kind of where the player would be able to still see what's going on but understand that you know it's going too fast and i know that that was around about 200 so we keep on going down so there you go you can see now we're, we're bouncing it's very fast but the player can see what's going on and everything's not getting out of control it's not breaking it's not stopping us moving and then i can eventually move off this and sort of escape escape that so that's just a very quick video about how to limit the rigid body velocity and cap it somewhere reasonable where it's not going to make things go crazy. I hope this was useful to you. If it was, make sure to hit that like button and consider subscribing. And in the meantime, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.